You enable good companies like Umail and others to use technological solutions to be a private backstop to prevent illegal calls. And then you dictate a very clear standard around consent, right? Maybe it's three, maybe it's five, whatever it is in terms of the number of times consent can be transferred. You just dictate it, make it very straightforward and highly regulated. And then very quickly, with just a few little change, 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 you require some fraud detection on third party leads. That's very important, there's a lot of fraud out there. And all of a sudden, pretty much every single call that a consumer receives from that day forward is a wanted, expected call, right? Like how hard is that? Meanwhile, industry still exists. It can still put up comparison shopping websites. Consumers can still hear from companies that they want to hear from. Companies that want to buy leads can still pay a little bit of money for a very hopefully targeted, uh, you know, well-qualified lead that, that wants their product or service. And it's all good. But instead, we have this ridiculous world where no one knows what the TCPA covers, where the, the carriers can block essentially whoever the hell they want, where we're just gonna stop comparison shopping websites altogether because we just can't come up with another idea. It's like, guys, like, spend 35 seconds thinking about this. Just read TCPA one. Just, just watch my little podcast. I will explain all of telecom policy in the United States. I'll make it very simple. But I appreciate you, Alex, stepping in and saying, look, as a technology solution provider, yeah, we can help, right? Like, stop making this more complicated than it needs to be. Stop shutting down small businesses when we can just lean on technology to identify the unwanted, huh, I misspoke, the illegal calls, right? Because that's what we should be doing.